Welcome to the Sage 50 U.S. Edition Anytime Learning Topic. In this topic, you will learn how to create a payroll field used to enter lump sum earnings as part of an hourly employee's paycheck. After completing this Anytime Learning Topic, you will be able to create a lump sum earnings payroll field for hourly employees. At some point, you may find that you need to pay an hourly employee for additional earnings that are based on a fixed amount and not based on time. For example, you may want to pay an employee a bonus in one lump sum, or you may need to include retroactive pay on an employee's paycheck. There are two different methods that you can use to pay a lump sum amount to an hourly employee. You can create an hourly pay level with a rate of $1 per hour. With this method, the earnings amount will be automatically added to the employee's taxable gross. This is the easiest approach to set up. Or you can configure a lump sum earnings payroll field for your hourly employees. Similar to setting up a medical deduction field, this method requires more setup time, but it gives you the flexibility to exclude the bonus amount from being calculated as part of the employee's earnings if needed. Both methods will add the bonus amount to the employee's overall earnings and can be reported as part of the employee's total wages and compensation on federal and state forms, such as the 941 and the employee's W-2. In this topic, we will walk through setting up a payroll field that will be used to enter lump sum earnings for an hourly employee when payroll is processed. Steps to configure an hourly pay type field to pay additional earnings are discussed in another Anytime Learning topic. Let's walk through the steps to configure a lump sum bonus payroll field for hourly employees. First, a new payroll field will be created that will be used to enter the bonus amount during payroll entry. To set up this field, select the Employees and Payroll Navigation Center, click the Payroll Setup icon, and then select Set Up Employee Defaults. On the Employee Defaults window, select the Employee Fields tab. Here you will enter the default bonus payroll field that will be available on the payroll entry window when processing payroll. When you enter paychecks, you will enter the bonus amount in this field. Scroll down to the first available row and enter the field name for the new bonus field. This name will be the label for the field on the payroll entry window, on reports, and will print on a paycheck stub. Next, associate a general ledger account for the earnings at the general ledger account number field. This is usually a wages or bonus expense type account. The bonus will be entered manually, so leave calc unchecked and the amount field blank. Memo and run should remain unchecked. The next step is to adjust the calculated gross for all taxes that should include the bonus amount as part of an employee's taxable income. For example, Federal income typically should include the bonus amount as part of an employee's gross when calculating federal income tax and should include the bonus as part of the total wages and compensation on federal forms such as the 941 and W-2. To accommodate this, scroll up to the Fed income formula at the top of the list and then click the Adjust Arrow button. Scroll down and check Use next to Bonus so that it will be added to gross wages when federal income tax is calculated. You will need to repeat these steps for each applicable employee and company calculation payroll field. For example, select Social Security next, click Adjust, and check Use next to the bonus field. Since your bonuses will be entered as a positive number, the amount will be added to gross pay when computing taxable wages for Social Security. When you're finished, click OK to exit employee defaults. Now you are ready to use the new bonus field during payroll. Click the Pay Employees icon and then select Enter Payroll for One Employee. The Payroll Entry task window will display. First, let's select an employee from the Employee ID lookup list. The program will calculate the paycheck based on the default hours assigned to the employee's record. If the bonus is going to be included in the employee's paycheck for the pay period, you should first modify the hours worked, if needed, before entering an amount in the bonus field. If this check will be printed in addition to the employee's normal paycheck, clear the default hours entered in the regular hours worked 
When you are ready to enter the employee's bonus, enter the amount in the new bonus payroll field located in the Taxes, Benefits, and Liabilities table. For example, if the employee earned a $750 bonus, you would enter $750 in the bonus payroll field. The $750 bonus will not be added to the visible gross amount at the bottom of the payroll entry window. However, it will be added to the adjusted gross and taxed properly. The bonus will be included as part of the taxable wages reported on payroll tax reports. You may want to memo accumulated bonus income on the employee's W-2 as additional income. This last step is optional and can be taken after printing your checks but before you print W-2s. Although bonus amounts are already included in the total taxable wages in boxes 1, 3, and 5, you can isolate and report the total bonus earned for additional record purposes. In the Employees and Payroll Navigation Center, click the Payroll Setup icon and then select Payroll Settings. Select Taxes and then Assign Tax Fields. Now let's click the W-2 Fields button. The Assign Payroll Fields for W-2's window is displayed. In Box 14, click the drop-down arrow to open the list of available fields. Select the Bonus Payroll Field from the drop-down list. Click OK and then click Finish to exit the Payroll Settings window. In addition to paying an employee bonus, the steps outlined in this topic can be used to pay an employee for other types of taxable earnings, such as maternity leave, jury duty, and so on. This concludes our look at paying an employee bonus using a custom payroll field. You have successfully completed this Anytime Learning topic. You have learned how to create a lump sum earnings payroll field for hourly employees. Thank you for taking this Anytime Learning topic. For information on additional training options available, please visit us at sageu.com.